This is a quarter million euro burger, one of the first three in the world made from lab cultured beef by Professor Mark Post and his team at Maastricht University in the Netherlands. Today at London's Riverside Studios, Professor Post launched the technology. He saw his burger cooked by a professional chef, Richard McGowan, tasted by two professional tasters who gave it a warm but not super enthusiastic reception and he tasted it himself. I started by asking Professor Post how he'd found the day's events. The, the cooking went as expected. Um, we had tested that before, of course, and, and it went in a very similar way. Um, the tasters responded uh, well. Um, you know, not, um, um, not too enthusiastic, um, but also you know, just um, honest in what they felt they, uh, they tasted, so it was fine. Can you tell us, take a step back and tell us right. how you created this 250 million, 250,000 euro burger? Right, so we created the burger by um, taking cells from a cow, um, skeletal muscle cells, and they have cells in there that can divide. We take out these particular cells. These are stem cells. These are stem cells, but they are designated skeletal muscle stem cells. But they can still divide, multiply, we grow them into 40 billion cells, and then um, every one and a half million of those cells, we turn them into a tissue. They basically do it themselves. We just create the right environment for them. Um, and that tissue becomes a muscle fiber, and 20,000 of these muscle fibers make up one hamburger. The biggest difference between the taste of this and a real beef burger from a living cow the taster said was that they they miss the fat which gives some of the flavor and texture to, right. a, to a real burger can you put that right um, yeah so the, the fat is not in there yet um, we can make fat it's a little bit more complicated than making the uh, muscle cells and we didn't have the capacity to scale it up for this particular event and mm -hmm. um, so that will take uh, another maybe half year or year before we can enter the fat into there. One revelation today was that Sergey Brin of Google has funded your recent work. Can you, can you tell us how much he has put in and how much he's likely to put in in the future to develop this? Right, so uh, we agreed that he would fund the making of the first hamburger, which in the end, because we made like three of these hamburgers, turned out to be 700,000 euro, roughly. And um, um, so I'm very grateful that he enabled us to do that, and that's why we could present it here. Um, of course, for the, the next steps, we need additional funding, and we'll, we are talking to um, um, investors, to uh, financiers in general, um, to get the additional funding, and we're also talking to Sergey Brin to get the additional funding. How much more do you think you'll need? It, it's going to be substantial. I mean, um, for this prototype, it took 700,000. It can easily take another um, uh, 10 million or so to get to solve the other issues. Um, and then, of course, if you scale it up and make a production facility out of it, then it becomes increasingly more expensive. You were talking about 10 to 20 years before right. this is likely to appear on any supermarket right. shelves. And that's slightly be on the planning horizon of most companies, isn't it? Right. Yeah, and that's exactly why I think companies are reluctant to invest in this because it, it, it will take a long time before the investments uh, will uh, give a return. And what about the likely public acceptance of this? People have talked about yuck factor, uh -huh. Franken foods, although of course it has nothing to do with GM. Do you think this will be acceptable to ordinary people, even vegetarians? Right. I, I think it will be acceptable, acceptable to ordinary people. And the, the comments that we got back from uh, a lot of people and also just from a, a survey uh, among a cross-section of the Dutch population, actually the majority looks favorable at it. So um, I think these are just terms to, uh, to try and make a rapid uh, sort of fancy statement, but I, the, the public understands that we have issues with meat production and that this is a serious solution.